Hey guys, it's Mike here. Welcome to Autoblog. I've just been out running a few errands and I just noticed that I have about, let me see here, I'll show you. I have four miles till empty. So I thought, why not do a little experiment and see how far you can drive until you run out of gas. Now it's gonna go down to say about zero miles to empty and that's what I wanna know. How far can you drive on zero miles to empty tank? Now obviously it's gonna vary from car to car. Uh, my car here is a Ford Fusion, four cylinder. Um, and also today we have cold weather conditions. So that's gonna affect it as well. So what I'm doing is I've set up two GoPros, one right there and then we have one right here on the steering column that is going to monitor how many miles is left and once it hits zero miles till empty I'm gonna reset the uh, trip meter or the trip computer so we can actually see in real time how many miles I'm driving until the car completely runs out of gas and I'm stuck on the side of the road all right you guys ready I'm gonna turn on the GoPro on the steering column four miles till empty let's go all right, so we got three miles to empty right now and I'm just turning out on the highway. I know for a fact that I have at least seven miles of highway driving to do until I get to, not home, but I'm close to where I live. So we're just gonna have to see if I get stuck on the road on the highway or in a more of a residential area. Two miles till empty. All right, we got one mile till empty. <laughs> oh, crap. All right, we got zero miles till empty. Zero, zero. Okay, I'm gonna reset one of the trip meters here. Okay, so right now I'm on I-79, it's an interstate here in Pittsburgh, and I've gone 1.6 miles on zero miles till empty. I'm going to flip back here so you guys can see that. It's at zero miles, and I've gone 1.9 miles. All right, so this is my exit. We've gone four miles almost it's three point there it is four miles maybe I'll make it all the way home who knows I'm gonna flip back again just to show you it's zero miles till empty oops and I'm going 4.3 miles all right I'm coming up to a really busy intersection up here and this is not a spot where I want to run out of gas. I hope I have a green light here. I don't want to get stuck here. As you can see here, 4.9 miles, GoPro set up right there. You guys are right there. Come on. I don't want to get stuck right here. Might make a fun video, but not right here. Like that. All right, so I haven't run out of gas yet. All right, so I just hit 10 miles. We've been, I've been driving around here for a while and um, 
pretty interesting. You can at least drive 10 miles on a normal mid-sized car like this one right here. I didn't know you were going to be able to drive this far. <laughs> and just to check back here, still says obviously zero miles to empty. I'm trying to document it here as good as I can. All right, so we're at 14 miles we've driven now. And I'm getting kind of like, what the hell? There's a lot of gas left in the car at zero miles to empty. I'm almost like disappointed. <laughs> But again, I guess it's a good thing. I mean, if you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere, uh, I'm in a sort of residential area right now. I mean, if you're stuck somewhere and you have a little ways to go until you find a gas station, it's a good thing. We're just gonna keep on driving until I run out of gas. <laughs> okay, we got 15.4 miles. I mean, this thing can't just keep on going for too much longer. This is crazy. All right, we're gonna go up this long ass hill here. You can see this hill. stuck at an intersection. All right, my uh, battery on this one GoPro is about to run out, so um, I mean, I'm, it's gone 18 miles now, 18 freaking miles. But I, f I figure, no, it's gone 17 miles. And I currently have 18 miles per gallon. So if there is one mile or one gallon left when it says zero miles to empty, I would assume that I can probably go about one more mile until the car has zero fuel left in the tank. All right, there we have it. I tried to pull out of this street here onto another street and it wouldn't really do it for me. So right now I'm, I'll show you here. I just pulled off of, uh, this is called Green Tree Road right out here. So I pulled in right here and I'm gonna try to get up this little incline here. I don't think it's gonna work. Just to make sure that we're completely out of gas. So I'm gonna try to start it again here. All right, so as you can tell here, we were able to drive 21.6 miles on zero miles till empty. Now, obviously I knew that this was gonna happen, so I did bring an extra canister of gas. So let's get some gas in this car so I can get home. And being a Ford, we need this thing right here. Capless fuel tank system. And then get some gas. All right, so I got about 0.9 gallons of gas. All right, let's uh, try to start it up here. Okay, so obviously we still have low fuel. We'll see here what it says. Still says zero miles <laughs> till empty. But however, now I know I have about almost one gallon of gas so I can get to a gas station at least. 
So let me know what you thought of this video here and this little experiment that we did. Uh, did you find it informative? Did you think it was stupid? It's up to you. If you did like it though, share it with a friend you know would like it as well. And remember to follow on Instagram at Autoblog, Facebook at Autoblog, and Twitter at Autoblog, whatever is your personal preference when it comes to social media. And if this is your first time stopping by and you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, real quick before we end the video, as you guys noticed, this was done in my Fusion. I also have an F-150. Completely different vehicles and engines, obviously. Four-cylinder versus a half-ton truck with a big V8. If you guys like this video that we just watched here and you would like to see it done on a truck with a big v8 give it a thumbs up and let me know and we'll make it happen